is Paul Kerrigan, the founder and president of Alpha Polybag. And Alpha Polybag is a manufacturer of polybags and roll stock, and their products are sold throughout Canada and the United States. Paul's been involved in CAFE for several years, and I've always been impressed with his passion and commitment for family business. And he has a very impressive family story that he'll share with us today. Uh, Paul founded the company in 1989 as a manufacturer of garbage bags with two employees, two bag machines, and a 3,000 square foot uh, facility. The business has grown exponentially since then and, and evolved dramatically. Today they have over 50 employees with an impressive 53,000 square foot facility. They produce over 400 stacking products and a wide variety of custom printed and plain products. A big part of Alpha Polybag's success is their commitment to family business, which has originated in Paul's dream of building a business his children could eventually take over. This morning, Paul has generously volunteered to share some of this story with us. So please give a warm welcome to Paul Kerrigan. Good morning. I would like to thank CAFE for inviting me to speak about our family business. Before I tell you about our succession plan and transitioning to the second generation, I have a video that shows what our present business is like today, the culture and the diversity. Alpha Poly, as Jeremy said, has come a long way since 1989 when we opened for business with two bag machines, two employees, a 3,000 square foot facility, and we started making garbage bags. Could we see the video, please? Good afternoon, Alpha Polly. How may I help you? video was actually produced by our staff and on their own initiative. Uh, they came into my office one day and said, here, we've got something we'd like to show you. And I said, well, 
that looks great. What do you, what do you plan to do with it? And uh, they didn't know, but I'll tell you, we put it to a lot of good use and had a lot of good comments. <laughs> Succession planning. Transitioning from the founder to the second generation. My dream always was to have a business my children would enjoy and one that I could pass on to them. This is the story about what has happened in our family business. Carol and I, we have been married for 45 years and have five children and 14 grandchildren. My oldest son does not work in the, our business. My oldest daughter uh, joined Alpha in sales on a part-time basis in 2005. My youngest daughter, Megan, is a teacher and her husband works with Alpha, as well as my second oldest son, Matthew, and youngest, Patrick. Previous to Alpha, Polly, I was in business for 18 years in a small southwestern Ontario town, bulk distribution of petroleum products. And I was very active in the community. We had a very successful business, but I was at a stage in my life where I had to make a decision to either expand and take over other dealers and grow the business or make a career change at the age of 46. My wife, originally from Toronto, wanted to get back to the city. And myself, I looked at the community, it was very small, and I didn't think there was the opportunity for my children. And I wanted them to come home to visit us because they wanted to, not because they were obliged to. We made the change and moved to Brampton. 1990, my second oldest son, Matthew, joined Alpha after graduating in business from Sheridan College. We talked about potential opportunities for taking over the business when I retired. He planned to work, work in all uh, areas of the business, starting in the manufacturing department. Succession discussions had begun, and Alpha was only one year old. 1999, we moved to a 20,000 square foot facility and purchased our first high performance bag machine, which made Alpha one of Canada's leading manufacturers in Canada of food portioning bags. 2000, within six months of moving, we had an opportunity to acquire another company and completed the transaction in 90 days. The company sold to many of the, of the same customers and had a wider product range than Alpha had. Overnight, our sales doubled, and we increased our sales to $6 million. 2001, my son-in-law, Martin, uh, after graduating as an architect in Argentina, moved to Canada and decided to make Alpha his career and started to learn the business. 2003, a business valuation, CA, CBV, was completed by a specialist valuator so we could implement a freeze. With succession going to take place in the next few years, I wanted to make sure the sale to family members would be at a reasonable and fair price. I had sold two previous businesses that were successful and I thought everything was well organized and they could be taken over and run successfully. But each of them only survived two years. I wanted to make sure that if my family took over, they would continue to be successful and, the op and would have the opportunity to take the business to the next level. 2004, after only Five years, we ran out of space again, so moved to a 33,000 square foot facility. Because our product mix 
was made up of mostly commodity products, we wanted to increase the manufacturing of custom plain and printed product, and so ordered a state-of-the-art six-color flexo printing press from Italy. 2005, my youngest son, Patrick, changed careers and joined Alpha to learn the printing business and set up the printing department. I wanted to start working on succession planning and decided to hire a consultant with extensive business knowledge. He continues to work with us on corporate governance, attends monthly management meetings, and works with each member of the management team. Uh, it was important to have a set of financial statements so the management team would always have an up-to-date picture and they could be held accountable for their area of expertise. Also important was a budget plan so the team could strive to do better. He also facilitates our annual strategic planning meeting. The consultant may say the same thing that I would, but it seems to have more impact coming from someone else outside the family. And I also thought what we wanted to accomplish could be done much faster. He has brought a lot to the table. This, of course, was an adjustment for me as I realized I had to sit back a little more and let the consultant do his thing. All important ideas were discussed with me and we usually were on the same page. And as owner, I had the final say. 2007, the organizational chart was restructured. Timelines were set for specific duties to be turned over to the person responsible. Prior to this, we did not have an up-to-date org chart, and it was important to make sure everyone in the company knew where roles and responsibilities were. Also, this was a time when I would be unloading my responsibilities and transferring them to others. Patrick, my youngest son, became VP Manufacturing and Distribution, Matthew, VP Sales and Marketing, and Martine, VP Finance and Administration. Patrick and I attended a smart program hosted by the Canadian Manufacturers and Exporters Association on Lean Manufacturing. We decided this should be a high priority for Alpha. 2008, by this time the management team had all purchased shares from my holding company to give them part ownership in Alpha. Matthew, 1998, Martine, 2006, and Patrick, 2008. Each had set up their own hold codes for the purchase of shares. Life, key man insurance policies were set up for each shareholder payable to Alpha. This was done so that if anything happened to a shareholder, it would be easier for Alpha to pay their hold co for shares owned. Why did we do it this way? Well, number one, a business can only support so many families. Two, with the tough business climate today, the business could be successful or fail under new leadership. So I believe they should reap the benefits from their success. 2009, Alpha had invested on a regular basis in high performance equipment since 2000. We were now investing in employees and infrastructure. An outside consulting firm did a smart productivity analysis and presented us with a report. Their proposal, their structured approach with the estimated savings. Alpha embarked on their first productivity improvement project and implemented lean manufacturing using best practices in the manufacturing department. We received a 1.6 return on the investment the first year with ongoing improvements. 
This was a great education for the management team as well as the employees at Alpha. It helped change the culture of the company as well as provide important data reporting we did not have before. 2010, Alpha embarked on their second productivity improvement project in the office, which greatly helped the sales team with important data reporting we didn't have before and which is used weekly at the weekly employee update meeting. A consultant was hired for leadership development and consulting, and coaching, sorry, which included con conflict workshops, as well as trust building and better communication. A shareholder's agreement was completed to deal with all important business matters, such as voluntary exit, death, divorce, etc. All family members completed updated wills. We had to be certain the wills were lined up with the shareholders' agreement. In 2011, the, the final share purchase by the partners of Alpha was completed. The management team is now made up as myself as president, Patrick, general manager, and as well as VP Manufacturing and Distribution, Matthew, VP Sales and Marketing, Martine, VP Administration and Finance. I had difficulty choosing the GM. As I had told Matthew initially, he would be able to run the company one day. Well, Matthew's strength is in sales. And with the economy being tough as it is today, we needed him to put all his focus on sales. We had been talking a lot about strength through structure and management doing things right and leadership doing the right things. It is critical having the right people in the right position. Patrick has a great way with the staff and is a leader and a visionary and will make a great general manager. The management all agree this was the right decision. In 2012, Alpha Polybag Corporation was rebranded to Alpha Poly Packaging Solutions, Packaging Done Right. A new marketing program was implemented along with a new upgraded website. Alpha has increased space to 53,000 square feet and now has 50 employees. The company has the expert team and state-of-the-art equipment to get the job done right. With over 400 stock products, extensive warehousing, and the capability to produce a wide range of custom packaging solutions, we have the ability to meet all of our customer needs with excellence right across Canada and in the U.S. market. We have invested a lot in outside consultants. The expense has been well worth it. The team could not have accomplished what we have without their help. It's like getting an MBA on the job. The consultants provide necessary hands-on learning. For myself, I am still engaged but not tied to the company. I come to work about a day a week and sit on the weekly update meeting and monthly management meeting. It's great to hear all the exciting things going on at Alpha. I feel the second generation will be a great success. They have already been taking the business to the next level. The second generation will soon start planning for succession when they start working on an addendum to the shareholders' agreement. This will spell out the requirements for participating in the family business in the future. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our story of succession so far. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for uh, Paul? 
One that struck me is you mentioned that you'd sold two businesses, excuse me, two businesses previously that only thrived or survived for two years following the sale. Right. How did that influence you setting up your succession, or, or was that the driver, to, the, the steps you've taken through the consultants in the last few years? Well, I, I would say that's really it. Yeah. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that I gave them the proper opportunity to be, to be successful. And, uh, you know, a training, the more training you do, the better, really. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy.